What's going on guys? Okay, so I just wanted to shoot a quick video today. So I got done watching the Summer League game today with the Pistons versus Sixers and there was one guy that caught my eye today that I just wanted to talk about that I don't think anybody's really been talking about yet. Um, so first off, I just wanted to say if you guys can please subscribe to my channel and give me a like on this video, I'd really appreciate it. I'm really trying to uh, go after that 100 subscribers. So I um, appreciate all the support. And then any uh, questions or comments you guys have, feel free to put those down below. Anything you guys are seeing in the summer league or just NBA in general, feel free to put those down below. Uh, I'm getting back to every single one of your guys' comments. So um, yeah, I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. So, okay, so the guy I'm talking about is Matt Costello. So he's our center. Um, he's been our starting center in the summer league. He's probably got the most minutes for all of our big men or right up there at least. Um, so this is a guy from Iowa. He went undrafted in 2016. Um, he's been bouncing around on different summer league teams the past couple years. Um, he's a little bit older. He's 25 years old. Um, but yeah, the guy's 6'10", guys. He has a 7'1 wingspan. He's He's been getting seasoned in the summer league the past couple years. Um, has never really got the chance to make a roster, but he's kind of been balling out kind of low-key lately, guys. So, you know, we're out here looking for a center right now, like a kind of a backup center to play behind Drummond, give us some more depth. And I posted a video yesterday talking about some potential options we could sign in free agency. But Matt Costello is really kind of – with each game that goes by, if he plays a few more good games in a row, he could be a guy we actually look at signing to our like to like a minimum contract and um, taking the place of our backup center. So, um, you know, I know I discussed before, you know, some of the veterans that were out there, but he's been playing well enough that they might actually take a serious look at just throwing him a minimum offer to play that center spot. Um, some of his stats so far this summer league. So he's actually our fourth leading scorer right behind Bruce Brown, Svi Mikhailu, and Kyrie Thomas, um, who've all been shooting, obviously. Or not obviously, but they've been shooting way more than him. Um, I mean, even Kyrie Thomas. So Kyrie Thomas is averaging 15 points a game. Um, but he's also, he's also shot 43 shots so far. Um, and in comparison... Um, Matt Costello is averaging 14 points a game, so one less point a game, but he's only had 19 shot attempts. So he shot half as much as Kyrie, um, but he's been super efficient. He's been shooting 79% from the field, um, which um, he's averaging 14 points a game, eight rebounds, and shooting 79% from the field. So pretty solid stats all around, averaging like a block a game as well. And he actually just today, um, or he's been shooting some threes this whole time, but uh, he knocked down three threes today against the Sixers. And honestly, like a guy, like he's a solid rebounder. He's, you know, 6'10 with 7'1 wingspan. He's been getting boards. He's been getting eight a game, averaging 14 points. And these are shortened games, shooting 79% from the field. I mean, honestly, I think the guy's doing well enough that they might potentially give him a look. Um, I don't know. I just want to throw his name out there. What do you guys think? Do you think he's been playing well enough where we might actually consider giving him a, uh, a contract? Um, I don't know. I don't know. They, they might still go out there and sign a veteran, but they should at least get this guy, uh, keep him on their G League team for sure. Um, and potentially even he could be a guy they could bring up. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, just a guy that's caught my eye that I haven't really heard many people talking about. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how the, uh, the rest of the summer league shakes out. Bruce Brown's been balling out. I've been hearing some people saying Bruce Brown might actually – um, or he has the opportunity to actually become the MVP of the Summer League. I mean, the guy dropped a triple-double today. So that was only the second time that's happened in the uh, Vegas Summer League. So that was that was pretty sweet. Um, he's been super efficient, guys. He has this, he's averaging the second most assists in all of Summer League. Um, going along with that, he's scoring about 14 points a game. And then also his rebounds. He's been getting a lot of rebounds. He kind of looks to me, and I thought this right when he came in, he kind of looks like a Russell Westbrook light version um if he gets his shooting down a little bit more gets a little bit better handles and can finish around the rim a little more consistently i mean bruce brown has a chance to be special guys so he's another guy that's that's really been catching my eye and um i'm excited about about bruce this year i hope he can just hone in that three-point shot and then he'll be oh my god he could be so solid for us um anyways that's all i got for you guys let me know your thoughts um any other things you guys are seeing in the summer league in general and uh yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.